the place for comic book and anime reviews. Well, you trying to get your favorite audio comic book and anime reviews. And to you guys a little discussion video on the announcement news that Kevin Feige said that Miss Marvel Kamala Khan was going to be coming to the MCU. Um, so as you all know, I am actually like a very, very big fan of Miss Marvel, the Kamala Khan character. She's actually one of my favorite superheroes pretty much of all time. Um, I still remember that day when I first picked up that first volume of Miss Marvel and how I just like ran through it. Like it is one of like it it, 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 it really connected with me. It, it really like I felt strongly towards it. And I feel really felt strong towards the character of Miss Marvel of Kamala Khan. I really enjoyed her journey and her tale of getting to where she was. Now, what does it mean? Like her comic is my favorite comic book of all time. That actually goes to um the Kingdom Come comic book um, by Mark Wade. But she is my favorite comic book character of all time. Um, she's a character who again I really just connect with in many, many ways. She's she's very relatable. Um you know, the story she goes through, like, any, any person of any race or background can kind of relate to what she's going through in many ways. Very much kind of like taking up kind of like that Spider-Man-esque type deal where you have, like, a character like, um, like Spider-Man who, like, is a teenager and his kid, um, you know, and, like, you can kind of relate with him in, in many ways. Like, his kind of journey is kind of being, like, everybody's journey. And many aspects, and it's been one of those things that I've really, uh, and one of the things I actually really enjoy about Spider-Man in many, many facets, and it was kind of like giving him birth again to um, Kamala Khan in many ways. Um, she is just, she is this beacon character, really, and she is, she's Pakistani, she's Muslim, and that's another thing that I've also, I also really connect with her, because when I was growing up, when I was a little kid, you know, um, I had, like, grew up in a very, you know, Christian Muslim family, um, having those two kind of religious ideals kind of like going back and forth and with me and within me, you know, like going to church, reading the Bible, reading the Quran, and learning about like Muslim traditions and things like that, and learning about Muslim life. And, and that's one of the things that also like really helped me connect better with the book because, like, like just kind of like already know having that like background inside of. Um, you know, Muslim culture, um, and all, already like helped me to like become even more engrossed inside of this book and many yeah, facets. And it's just, and like, like even just her be, being like a Muslim character, though, just like again, just her journey. Like, I still remember when that issue about like her. When she was like you being shape shifting into Carol Danvers, and then she kind of realized that she didn't really, this wasn't really what she wanted. I'm like, it's really difficult to be a different type of person. I remember like thinking to myself, like this is kind of like kind of what everyone else goes through at some point, you know, where you always idealize somebody and you want to be just like that person a lot of times, and you try to act like that person a lot of times, but you really can't do that, and it's, not, it's, it's a really difficult thing. So, you know, you, you end up embracing who you are, and you try to be who you, yourself. You don't try to, like, idealize someone else. And it was one thing that really connected with to me, that kind of lesson in the book. Along with her, you know, a big, also a huge lesson was good is not something you are, it's something you do. Like, we do good every single day. Um... And when we, we, we prove that we are good through our actions um, more than anything else, not just by being a person, but through our, what we do in our own lives and how, like, by we, our actions we take or can also, like, you know, um, kind of inspire our own futures and where we end up going and the path we end up taking in life. And it's just, it is, it is going to be really interesting to see, you know, you know, the MCU has been really amazing. The MCU is amazing. Like, they have made, every single movie they've put out is always, always a hit. You know, they haven't really made any bad films. 
Um, even Black Panther, like that was just a humongous, just a great film um, by itself. And it's gonna be, and it's really exciting to me to kind of hear that like we're actually gonna see her in the MCU in the movie format, not just in, um, not just like in TV. Like, like I know originally it was actually a thoughts about a TV series about her. That really worried me because we kind of seen kind of Marvel TV hasn't been the strongest thing ever um at all but you know the movies have, have kept killed it killed it and really Paul Red and TV hasn't been as strong often because of the whole um Pearl Mother Feige divide and Feige staying with the movies and has arguably has made the movies better because of that divide and a lot of stronger in many aspects and it's really cool and interesting to see kind of like um how the movie landscape has changed and changed over time for the MCU. And, you know, I think Kamala can be a really, really great addition to the MCU. Um, you may actually really see how they end up doing this, though, because we don't have Miles there yet. Um, so, who knows? It might just be like a thing that they did just announce right now. And it's going to be like down the line. It's not going to come anytime, like really, really soon, but it's, it's going to be there because I, I don't know how I feel about um, come on, being in release. Um, Miss Marvel will come out before we get a um, Miles Morales in such a universe. Or who knows, they could connect it to the Miles Morales movie that's coming out and just say he's in a different universe. Um, that could also work. Uh, I'd be fine with that. Um, but whatever they end up doing, I definitely cannot wait to see what this movie is going to be like. It's going to be uh, either really big deal to me. Again, this is a character who I have really grown accustomed to. I'm going to show you guys some figurines like you're right there. Uh, over the years. <laughs> In many, many facets. Many, many, many facets of my life. And I've spent lots of money on her. Um, Y'all don't actually know this. Actually, right now. But, um, kind of... I only did like kind of sub to her series at my shop. I've also kind of subbed to her digitally, and I own trades of her, like the same trades I own in single editions. I own for trades, so yeah, I've kind of spent lots and lots of money on just this character uh, for quite some time. Um, so that's pretty insane. But yeah, that's that's really me want to get my thoughts out on this whole Miss Marvel Kamala Khan MCU thing. And just me expressing my excitement for this series and where I hope it goes. I'm being uh, in my thoughts. Uh, in the comments below, you guys start thinking about the whole Miss Marvel coming to the MCU thing. And I will definitely would like to catch you guys later.